Ever wondered why some of the world's deadliest apex predators don't hunt us humans? Intriguing, isn't it? Welcome to Creature Chronicles, where we delve into the fascinating world of wildlife. Today, we're exploring an intriguing aspect of nature, focusing on three apex predators that, despite their lethal abilities, generally spare us humans. We'll be diving into the depths of the ocean with most the intelligent and adaptable mammals, prowling through forests with nature's elusive creatures and braving the icy Antarctic with the formidable predators. Each of these creatures boasts unique relationships with humans, marked by curiosity and coexistence rather than hunting. So, are we just unappetizing, or is there more to this story? Well, that's exactly what we're here to unravel. So, buckle up and prepare to embark on a thrilling journey into the wild. Stay tuned as we dive into the world of these fascinating creatures. Orcas, or killer whales, are known for their intelligence and adaptability, yet they don't see us as potential prey. Let's find out why. Orcas are famed for their striking black and white appearance and their place at the top of the oceanic food chain. Yet despite their formidable reputation, these marine giants are known for their intricate social structures that are arguably as complex as our own. They live in tight-knit family groups known as pods led by matriarchs. Each pod has its own unique dialect of vocalizations, a testament to their incredible intelligence and adaptability. But what's even more fascinating is how these apex predators interact with humans. There are countless stories of wild orcas playfully approaching boats, surfers, and even swimmers. They seem to display a curiosity towards us, a curiosity that is devoid of any predatory intent. So why don't these powerful creatures see us as potential meals? One theory suggests it's about energy. Hunting is a costly business in terms of energy expenditure. Humans, compared to seals or large fish, simply aren't as energy rich. So, from a purely nutritional standpoint, we aren't the best menu option for these clever carnivores. Another theory touches on the orca's curiosity. It's possible that our novelty and unfamiliarity make us more interesting as objects of investigation rather than prey. Orcas, like us, are keen observers and learners. They might approach humans more for the sake of understanding than for hunting. So, next time you're lucky enough to see an orca in the wild, remember this. They're probably more interested in studying you than considering you as a potential meal. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? To be in the presence of such a powerful creature, and yet to be viewed not with predatory intent, but with curiosity. So next time you see an orca, know that they're probably more curious about you than you are about them. Wolves, the symbol of wilderness, have a long history of coexistence with humans, but why do they steer clear of us? Let's dive into the lives of these elusive hunters and unravel this mystery. Wolves, known for their remarkable stamina, have evolved a unique hunting strategy that sets them apart from other predators. They're not the strongest or fastest in the animal kingdom, but they make up for it with their endurance. Wolves rely on pack cooperation and long, tireless pursuits, often wearing down their prey over great distances. But here's the twist. Despite their potent hunting capabilities, wolves generally avoid humans. Sure, they are perfectly capable of attacking, but instances of wolf attacks on humans are as rare as hen's teeth. When they do occur, they are often provoked or due to unfortunate circumstances such as rabies. Might wonder, with their cunning and endurance, why don't wolves see us as potential prey? Well, that's where our long history of coexistence comes into play. From the time of our hunter-gatherer ancestors, humans and wolves have shared the same landscapes, competed for the same prey, and even endured the same harsh winters. Over time, wolves seem to have developed an understanding, a respect, or perhaps a wariness towards us. It's not just about fear or respect, though. Wolves are highly social creatures with complex structures and behaviours. They're not just mindless killers. They have their territories, their hierarchies, their families. Just like us, they seem to understand the concept of live and let live. Could it be that wolves see us not just as another species, but as fellow travellers in the journey of survival? Perhaps. But one thing is clear, despite their ability and occasional inclination to attack, wolves have largely chosen to avoid us, to live with us without turning us into their prey. Wolves, it seems, have found a way to coexist with us without making us their dinner. 
Leopard seals, the formidable predators of the Antarctic, do they see us as prey or playmates, one might wonder, considering their fearsome reputation? But let's dive a bit deeper into the chilly waters of the Antarctic to understand these icy predators better. Leopard seals are indeed formidable, ranking as the second largest species of seal in the Antarctic. Their long, sleek bodies are built for speed, and those sharp canine teeth are perfectly designed for snatching up speedy prey like penguins. But their diet isn't limited to just penguins. They're known to consume a wide variety of marine animals ranging from krill to other seals. Yet, despite their predatory prowess, instances of leopard seals attacking humans are extremely rare. In fact, there has been only one recorded fatality, which occurred back in 2003, when a British scientist was dragged underwater by a leopard seal. It was a tragic event that highlighted the potential danger these animals can pose, yet it remains an outlier in human-leopard seal interactions. More often than not, leopard seals exhibit a curious nature when encountering humans. There are numerous accounts of divers being approached by these animals, not with aggression, but with what appears to be curiosity. In some instances, they've been known to offer their human visitors gifts of food, presenting them with dead penguins or fish. The question then is why these apex predators, who could easily view us as a meal, choose not to. One theory is that we simply aren't part of their natural diet. Another suggests that these intelligent creatures recognize us as something different, something not to be eaten, but to be studied, much like we study them. So while it's important to respect and maintain a safe distance from these powerful animals, it's equally important to appreciate the unique relationship we share with them. They are a reminder that not all predators view us as prey. Some see us as intriguing creatures worthy of their curiosity. Despite their potential danger, leopard seals, like our other apex predators, seem more intrigued by us than hungry. So the next time you find yourself thinking about these icy predators, remember, they might just be as interested in you as you are in them. It's fascinating to see how these apex predators, despite their capabilities, choose not to hunt us. As we've discovered, orcas, the intelligent giants of the sea, display a remarkable curiosity towards humans while not viewing us as a meal. Wolves, the elusive hunters, have a long history of coexistence with us, and despite their prowess, attacks on humans are rare and often provoked. And then we have the Antarctic's formidable leopard seals, known to prey on marine animals but sparing us, save for a few extremely rare incidents. It's a dance of survival, a delicate balance in the wild. The lines between predator, prey and spectator blur as we continue to share the same planet. Are these interactions based on fear, respect or mere curiosity? Or perhaps a combination of all three? So why don't these predators hunt us? The answer might be as simple as mutual respect and curiosity. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the animal kingdom, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Creature Chronicles for more fascinating insights. See you in the next adventure.